Hey guys, welcome back to Moorhead Homestead. We got a surprise in the mail yesterday. Actually, today is when I got it picked up, but it came in yesterday. So we're going to unbox it. We're going to check out what it is. I need to tell what it is. Oh, let's open it first. Yeah, it's a surprise. It's a surprise. All right, let's open this. All right, let's start opening this thing up. I don't know if you can see who that's from or not. Rustic Woodworking. So if you guys follow them on YouTube, uh, I know he's made one of these for Daniel and Dutch and a couple other YouTubers. Uh, and for whatever reason, he's blessed me with one. So we are going to uh, show you guys. Whoa! It doesn't look like a flag. Look at this, guys. It's made of wood. Gosh, it's not real, a real flag. It's a wooden flag. It's got our logo on it. It's our house right here, Moorhead Homestead. Get a little closer look. The United States of America. So, that's right, United States of America. This is cool. What else we got in here? Oh, he's got us some. Uh, he's got a little card on there, and then on the back, it's got the little hangers in there. So that's pretty cool. All right. And we'll be right here. Well, from everyone at Moorhead Homestead, we want to give a big thank you to everyone at the Rustic Woodworking on YouTube. If you haven't subscribed to their channel yet, go check them out and give them a subscribe. Uh, he does a lot of these flags and uh, he's really good at it. He does a lot of other woodworking. So if you guys have not checked out Rustic Wood Woodwork on YouTube, go check them out. Uh, can't thank you enough. Now to decide where I want to hang this bad boy up at. Uh, I know. What do you think? I'm outside somewhere. No! Under the buck. Under the buck. That might be a pretty good place. You guys have to stay tuned and uh, see where we hang this up at, but that'll be on another video. I just wanted to open this up and uh, give a shout out to everybody over there at Rustic Woodwork for sending us this uh, flag with our logo. It is pretty cool. Can't thank you enough. See Layla there, she's looking better. See a little bit on her leg where her first grown back, but she's running around good. I'm just getting her to run so you can see. Um, you guys got to see Layla running around a little bit um, and today I'm going to put the wheels on this chicken tractor. So got a few hours before I got to be at work and of course we got more rain moving in today. It seems like uh, we live in a tropical rainforest now with all the rain and humidity we've been getting. So uh, we better get started. Make sure our all threads gonna fit through. Oh yeah. Alright, and slide that all thread through a little more. This? Yeah. All the way to the touching. Slide the all thread through. Oh, this thing.
one wheel on. Mm-hmm. I don't have the water hose. Lift a little more. Okay, probably enough. Okay. I can't hold it. I'll get it. Look at my helper today. All right, guys, so you see it's pretty simple. I just drilled a hole through. I got some 8-inch all thread, 5-8 um, uh, diameter, and put it through there. And I got some lock wash or some uh, lock nuts and uh, put the spacers in there and tighten it down. That's pretty much all there is to it. I'm going to go ahead and get this tightened down. All right, guys, there you have it. See Lindy stuck in the old chicken tractor, quail tractor, whatever you want to call it. So I got the wheels installed. Got it wrapped all up. The only thing that's left to do now is wire this front here and put a little hinge door on here. So wire the front and the hinge door. So that won't take too long. I'm excited to have these wheels on here where we can move it a lot easier because when we, when we need in and out of the shed it's so hard to pick that thing up and move it so with the wheels i'll be able to do it myself i can just grab onto that chain and pull it out of the way so all right guys you guys want to see layla some more layla layla come here so a little backstory if you missed it about a month ago she started limping pretty bad and I thought she just tweaked her leg or something from running I was like well I'll just give her a couple days to see how she does if it gets better but it didn't so I took her into the vet and they said that she had torn her ACL and meniscus and that she would need surgery so we can get closer up here to her she's running off I'm playing anyway so she ended up having the surgery and she Everything went great. She had to stay in her kennel for, ended up being oh, a little over three weeks because after about a week, she tore her um, stitches out. And so I had to take her back in and they uh, ended up putting staples in. And so that set us back about a week. So she had to stay in there, which she hated being locked up 24 seven. She only time she could get out was on her leash to go to the bathroom and then straight back in. But took her back to the vet. Look out, girls! A couple weeks ago, and he said she looked great. Say hi. Hi. And she got released, so mm -hmm. she's doing good. Look at all that white stuff and on she, her. But yeah, she's doing good. For all those who have been asking, and hey, Lila, about Lila. Her, thank you she for all your she, she killed a brown dog. She did get a groundhog. Hey, we and a possum. Thor and Layla are best friends, though. They love each other. And there's your heart. I can see Layla, how high no biting. All right, show us. And do you want to see how high I go? <laughs> Woo! Can I go after Brooke? How you hold this? Her hair's almost grown back all the way on that leg. So here. Easy. You're rascals. So as I close this video out, I want to say another big thank you to Brandon over at Rustic Woodwork Family uh, for sending me that flag. It is so awesome. We already got it hung up in the house. 
I may take it in there, take you in there and show you where we put it. Uh, it's kind of up above the kitchen next to my dad's flag that he got uh, from the military and a picture of him. Uh, so it's pretty cool sitting up there. It's got a big United States flag. Uh, so big thank you to Brandon over there. Uh, couldn't thank you enough. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed to his channel yet, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, go give him a sub and tell him thanks from everybody at Moorhead Homestead.